Bloody London by David Fathers. 20 Walks in London. Tracing its gruesome and hor horrific history. Um, so you get a forward introduction, how to use the book. You get a list of the walks. And then um, acknowledgement. So you get the walks, um, acknowledgements, and um, a bit of a bibliography. It's a pretty nice general book. Um, so, and like the walks are pretty close together, which is good. Um, you get like a brief explanation of this, of the spot and a few like random things like about like the person or place that's connected to the spot. Um, and like at the beginning, he's like, this book is not a com comprehensive guide to every murder and disaster within London. Uh, nor could it ever be. It's just a selection um, created by geographical districts um, that ranges from mundane killings to the most gruesome attacks, murders, and disasters. Out of respect for the victims themselves, their families, and friends, I have not featured any event after 1984. So, you got up until that point. Um, the walks walks distance between 0.8 kilometers to 10 kilometers in length and then you got um symbol key lists as well so like um overground um, station steps the route alternate route so you get like an introduction um total walking distance and then some information um, hopefully in the physical book the map is a bit better than this one. So, um, like, here you're getting information about a person, um, like Joe Meek, uh, H.M. Prison Holloway. And so, like, that's the basic kind of um, setup for each walk. You get a bit of information about, like, a person or a place. And you would get some sort of um, visual, um, like, illustration. So, yeah. Um, so, if you're in that, into that type of thing, um, or wanting to do a different type of walk or experience, um, have a look at this look at, and like if you are um, going to London, this could be something um, to do. Um, if you don't have anything planned or working on um, your trip. So yeah, bloody London, happy readings.